Hey everyone, welcome to another Goodie Reader comparison video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we have the Apple iPad Mini versus the second generation Mini with Retina display. The big hyping factor about the new model is the resolution. It's 2048 by 1536 versus the 1024 by 768, so it's almost doubled. And we're going to see if the resolution increase makes a practical, real world difference looking at magazines newspapers, comic books, and a whole lot more. So without further ado, let's check out an ebook. We opened up the same book on both devices. Of course you have page turn animations and all that. You can long press, make notes and highlights, choose different colors of highlights. Keyboards are exactly the same. It's running the same OS of course. Bookmarks, font change, themes, and everything in between. So the big difference is, are we noticing an increase in clarity with the text? You know, in the studio here, I guess it does look a little bit more crisp on here than it does on here. It looks, uh, the blacks look a little bit pixelated on the corners, but of course that is nitpicking, but, um, the change, the differences between the screens will most definitely come through clearer on magazines, newspapers, and so on. Okay, let's take a look at a comic book, something that's more graphic centric. So we left it in portrait mode because obviously comics look better in portrait. So you can tell that's a lot more crisp than that is. The colors also are a little bit different as well. So put that into consideration when you're choosing your next Apple device. Check out Spider-Man's head. Check out the colors. Check out the lines. Let's look at this. This has a lot of color. Pinching and zooming. comic book experience in terms of functionality is exactly the same on both of these so it would just be a difference in what you think looks better not how it functions okay let's take let's continue looking at graphic heavy content check out magazines this is a rolling stone magazine we'll just cancel that for now so as we go through this, once again, check out all the lines and colors. Magazines actually have buying decisions here, so you can click on things to go to other web pages, read more, and listen to music and all that. No pinching and zooming on certain app, uh, magazines purchased from the App Store. I'm noticing uh, just from real world that this bottle... I think has more truer colors. And it is actually more legible. Side. All the words are a little bit more legible than the iPad mini. So that seems to be the trend so far that the text is more clearer. And I think that this is primarily due to the higher resolution. So the letters and fonts are less pixelated, especially when you start looking at smaller fonts. They're easily distinguishable. And I think that images have a little bit more richer of a color. But you guys can make the decision for yourself. Next thing we're going to do is look at newspapers. We're going to open up our favorite newspaper reading app, Press Reader. So you can see on both of these devices, unless you have Eagle Eye, it's not really that readable. So you can pinch and zoom to get into where you need to go. Or you can actually click on a highlighted title. Wow, and this will, loaded up way faster. Yes, it did. And you can actually change the text from here, and it skins it to almost a uh, e-reading version and strips away all the ads. So from here, we'll look at the differences in text to really get an idea of what these two bring to the table. Pretty much the trend with written material like this, it does seem like the blacks are blacker and that 
all the letters individually are smoothed over a little bit and they're a lot more crisp rather than being so well pixelated on this side by side you really see the differences yeah what i'm noticing at least with this app that there's really no dramatic increase in resolution with the pictures but when it actually comes again to the font i feel that they're that they're crisp and that seems to be the overwhelming trend i guess right now with the retina display model is just everything's just a little bit more crisp but we run into the situation where a lot of content is still not made available to take advantage of the resolution. You know, uh, I, I firmly doubt that, you know, these, these pictures look the same. It's because they're not pushing out HD versions of these newspapers. It's right. the same paper being pushed out to all devices. So make sure that you're aware that the game's that that you're downloading the magazines that you're downloading and things like that are actually high def otherwise you're really not going to see a huge increase in like picture clarity and things like that so it looks exactly the same Pretty okay much. i think that the last thing to do is to take a look at the audio and visual experience with a netflix video Looking at the Netflix video, there wasn't really a night and day difference between uh, the two shots. We did notice a bit better resolution on the iPad mini with Retina. The same scene looked a little bit more crisp and a little bit more clear. And I feel that all in all, that if you do have the first generation iPad mini, I would probably recommend getting the iPad mini with Retina. I think it's a huge jump forward. Maybe the content and the HD content hasn't caught up yet on a 7.9 inch display, but this should catch up over time. And if you purchase HD movies via iTunes or you're watching uh, manga and, and anime via Crunchyroll, I think that you will see an increase, but it, there, we do definitely see an increase with a lot of the ebook experience. And I feel that apps are opening quicker and you're seeing just an overall more robust experience. So you've heard our thoughts. Let's hear yours. Drop a comment on this YouTube video. If you're watching this video on another website, it's youtube.com slash goodyreader. If you have any ideas for future videos, drop us a line and let us know. For a comparison video of the iPad mini versus the iPad mini with Retina, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care. Peter.